I made a little scoreboard for the CTE portfolio scorecard that you can post for your students. Um, so I took this document and I simply created a spreadsheet so that you would enter here the number of students in each class. I just put 25. Here are the different sections of that scoreboard, um, of the scorecard. Now I added work samples and reflection with the idea being that as they do quality work, they put that in their portfolio so that it's something that not just they're waiting till the end of the year or the end of the senior year, but as they're completing quality work that they want to share with their future employers, they can put it in there. And you can add cells here and I can work with you if you want to add pieces for that quality work. However, just looking at it as it is, we would see how many students in the class have completed their letter of introduction, let's say nine half. How many students have completed their resume? 20. How many students have completed their credentials? Right? 10. So as they complete these things, you add in here the, the numbers. And the goal, obviously, is to get every, um, for everyone to get it up to 100%. So that everybody has completed their work. Their, their, their objective. Now this needs to be updated only because, um, here we go. So now we have a scoreboard. We can see what percent of our class has completed their letter of introduction. What percent of our class has completed their resume. And what we do is by posting this, we engage the students in trying to meet their goal right, of 100% completion. And our WIG, our wildly important goal is for all students to have a completed portfolio at the proficient level by the end of the school year. So th this is our lead measure. This is telling us how close we are to getting there as a class. So consider entering this information and taking some time each week maybe have a student help you um, have make it a project within the classroom to update this scoreboard so the class can own the project of completing their portfolios some of these things may not be done till later on so there's no way to update it that's why i think emphasizing the work samples and reflections is a way to make it something to engage in weekly we want the portfolio to be something they're constantly updating and improving. Uh, I made a different one for each period, so you can update it for each period as well. The number of students in the class will be constant for each classroom. So if there's 25 kids in period five, this will go all the way down and be 25 kids. I hope this is helpful.